original, let's say the original values. So, for, as I say, for the star system, the line voltage is root 3 times, uh, basically times the initial voltage, and the current is equivalent. And the sum of the line voltages is zero. And also the sum of the phase voltages is zero. Which we would expect. Okay, so just quickly to look at the line the line currents, those were the line voltages. Okay, so if we consider the line currents. So again, using Kirchhoff's law for each phase and neglecting the impedance of the wires, we're assuming it's going to be zero. What we get is basically we get balanced line currents as well. So what we're saying is that for balance, if they're balanced, we should basically get zero. Because, as I say, for the neutral current. So that is for the star arrangement. Now for delta for balance loads, this case slightly different because the phase voltages are equal to the line voltage. So we're just basically showing these. So this is the key difference between the delta and the star system. Okay? We found that for the star star connected load, the line voltage would the line voltages were bigger than the phase voltages. For the delta, we find that the voltages are the same. Okay? The difference is the current. Okay, so what we're now looking at is the phase currents of the delta collector. So they're going to be slightly different. As I say, take, again, re repeating the mathematics, but this time uh, we're looking at the current. What we find is that there's our initial, initial current. And I'm, again, applying Kirchhoff's uh, circuit law at each, each node of the delta load, we find the currents become basically root three times the original current. Okay? So as I said, the voltages, the line voltages are the same, it's the line currents that are increased by a factor of root three. So again, drawing the phases for the currents, okay? Okay, and similarly for IB, for IC, we will get the same. Okay. As IC squeeze on, squeeze on the bottom. Okay, so IA, IB, and IC, which should should be the same. They don't quite the same, but they should be the same. Okay, so that's basically so IA plus IB plus IC is going to be zero. So for balanced delta loads, the phase voltages are equal to the line voltages. The line currents are root three times the phase currents and like them by 30 degrees. And the sum of the line currents is always zero since there is no neutral wire. Okay? Because as I say, that's that's one of the things about delta, delta circuits is you don't get And the sum of the phase currents, similarly, is also zero. Remembering this is for a balanced load. Okay, so the last, the last part, I'm going to talk about how we can convert from star delta to a delta star. Okay, so if we've got our star arrangement on the left and our delta arrangement on the right. Okay, so if we go star to delta, if we look at the impedances we can work out the impedances for each leg of the star, uh, the star network. Okay, so um, so ZAB will be be so, ZBC will be so, and ZCA will be so. So we can we can calculate the impedances of the delta. 
okay, going from start to delta uh, by, as I say, taking the impedances at the start. And the same thing we can have working the other way, delta to start. Okay, so ZA is, is that, ZB is that. So that's the useful thing. So if you ever get asked to convert the impedances with a, a delta to a star arrangement or a star to a delta, you just basically work out the impedances. Okay. Any any questions? As I say, I'm not. I don't have time, and as I say, it's probably not appropriate to go through the mathematics. What I'm trying to show you is the, as I say, um, just point out the aspects of the, um, elect, you know, the, the basically the three phase systems and, and what you will find in three phase systems. Right, so we can have basically the general expressions, mathematicians like general expressions. So it's basically saying uh, for, for our star impedance, z equals the product of adjacent z del basically delta impedances divided by the sum of the delta impedances. Likewise, for delta impedance, the impedance is the sum of pairwise products of the stars, uh, basically divided by the opposite. So what we can say from that is if the load is balanced, the impedance per phase of the star connected load will be one third of the impedance per phase of the delta connected load. Hence the equivalent impedances can be given by Okay, so, conclusion. In a balanced three-phase Y-connected system with positive sequence sources, the line voltages are root three times the phase voltages and lead by 30 degrees. The phase sum of the phase voltages are zero, and the phase sum of the line voltages are zero as well. Okay. So, as I say, and that's basically the um, equations to represent that. Okay. And as I say, that's the key root three. If we consider our delta arrangement in a balanced three-phase delta connected load supplied with a positive sequence source, the line currents are root three times the phase currents and like by 30 degrees. So the phase of some of the phase currents is zero and the phase of some of the lines currents is also zero as well. Okay, and that's the equation. So, just to complete, the difference between the star system and the delta system, what we get from the star system is we get a higher voltage and a lower current, essentially. Okay? For the delta system, we get a higher current and a lower voltage. Okay? So that's something to consider. And so, we, we find that it tends to be, well certainly in the UK, it tends to be star system. Is that the same in, the same in Malaysia? We think stars, star system is much more common. Yeah. But it, again, if you're, because particularly for um, distribution to, uh, to houses, to schools, there are some equipment that require three phase. Okay, so you'll find three phase being delivered, and that may be delivered as a delta. But certainly for distribution to residential, So that's, that's the majority. But it depends on the application. Right, okay, so the question is, any questions? Okay. Um, hopefully that just gives you, um, as I say, gives you an overview of <coughs> the arrangements of star and delta systems in three phase. We use three phase because it's much more efficient. Um, it's a much more efficient way of transmitting uh, basically supplies. Um, 
and as I say, we can uh, divide it down as a single phase for, uh, for, for residential purposes. But also, industry can require three phase um, and they, they receive it as a delta arrangement. So it very much depends on the application. So hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Thank you for listening. And uh, as I say, good luck in your, good luck in your studies. Um, I guess that um, a number of you will go on and do uh, further study and perhaps go on and do uh, degree qualification as well. So good luck, good luck in your study, you know, in your studies. And, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not, as I say, not that I, not that I'm, I'm aware of. I think the pro the problem is is that once you've got the systems installed, it's the expense of changing to a to a, a radically new system. I think the, the systems might, um, you know, the, there might be slight adaptations, but I don't think that we, have, you know, certainly in the, you know, to my knowledge. Is there anything that you've um, that you've not that's right, that's right. No, that's right. It's a, it's a good question. As you say, this has been around for a long, long time, and uh, but it, you know, it, since Tesla invented it, nobody's come up with a you know with a with a better you know a, a more a, a much more efficient solution. So it sometimes you know uh, it's it works it works well. Uh, so uh, so maybe a few slight refinements, but basically I think it's all. One more uh, area that I find um, it's a greater problem in the big wave system is the neutral current. Right. We got the, the, all the uh, solid state uh, transactions part and everything. Uh, how how to uh, tackle this uh, neutral current? Uh, I, supp I, I suppose you mean in terms of preventing damage or uh, yes. yeah. I, I, it's basically. Pre I, I think that's the the area that that, that you know is undergoing the most development of protection systems. I mean, just out of interest, I, I think that the, the power supply in, in Malaysia is, is pretty good. You don't pretend to get it. Yeah. It's quite interesting that in other countries it's nowhere near as good. And they have, they have basically, uh, their, their systems drop out. Um, and, and again, I think they, you know, they, they have substantially more, they have more problems than they have, that they have in Malaysia. So I, it's difficult. I think that, that's been, the recent changes has been more sophisticated systems. To try and get, you know, to try and balance balance the loads, because balance loads are more efficient. So um, that is the that is the aim of the the planners, the engineers, is to is to balance the systems as much as possible. So yeah, but um, we still get in the UK we get problems because if you actually get instead of line to neutral, you get line to line. That does occasionally happen, and in some houses, and that basically ruins the electrical equipment. They're specified for 240 volts. You get 415 volts. And that basically destroys the washing machine, the fridge, the microwave oven, the TV. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but we know it can happen. And that's one of the faults that can, can occur on the system, is where you get line-to-line -line voltages instead of line-to-neutral voltages on a single phase. Okay. Something to look out for. Okay. So uh, thank, you, thank you for your questions. Right, okay. I should mention earlier, there are well, in the early days, but they've they've adopted three phase. I think they've they've gone away from yeah. But no route two, route two. No, okay. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you can as I say, you can do the calculation. I think, as I say, route three is 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 the optimum um, because then it's sort of you know the as I say, slight improvement with more equipment, more cost, more wires. So uh, I think it, it is. It's a balance between, as I say, efficient, efficiency and cost, yeah. and that's why it's the optimum. But yeah, I think in the United States, I think there's a two-wire system in the United States, but I think it's it's been superseded by three, oh, three okay. phase. Yeah. But in the early, in the early days. Okay. All right.